everyone, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'd like to talk about why you should major in engineering and more specifically, why computer engineering. So let's get started. So I know engineering, at least to me, it's not very interesting and I didn't really find much passion for it, so to speak, but I was familiar with it. Um, my dad was an engineer, so obviously I knew more about that field than any other field in, in college. So I just decided to go for that instead. I was also relatively good at math in high school, so I just figured why not? And I knew that you can have great career paths and you had multiple career paths just by getting an engineering degree. So I just decided to go for it. And I'd like to just talk about the different advantages of actually majoring in computer engineering and why you should major in computer engineering as well if you're thinking about it. Now, if you just hate it completely and you just can't stand it, you're not good at math, you don't like it, you have no interest in it whatsoever, then then just don't do it, you know? But if you have some interest in it or you have some experience with it and you want to make, you know, something out of it and you know you're at least good at math, then I would just listen into some of these. Maybe it'll persuade you to uh, major in this field. All right, so the first thing would be the pay. Honestly, you get paid a lot of money being an engineer, even as an intern. You know, interns, I heard that there are many internships like in marketing or some other field where you don't get paid um, to, to intern. And it wasn't until like a year in of being an intern that I realized that, wow, there's actually other students out there who are not getting paid right now. So it was actually a huge eye opener. And I was kind of relieved in a sense that I actually, you know, found a job that paid or found an internship that paid as a starting junior undergraduate for computer engineering. I was getting paid $24 an hour. And that's a lot especially in the area that I live. The way that this internship worked is the more credits that I accumulated based on taking more courses and getting further into my degree, um, I got pay raises. So the next year, I think it was two semesters later, yeah, I had gotten a pay raise up to $26. And then now, as I'm going for my master's, uh, the pay raise went up to $33. So I'm currently getting paid $33 an hour as a graduate computer engineer. Guys, that's insane. Uh, working 20 hours a week, $33 an hour, um, that's about what, probably about 30K. So if I were to work 40 hours a week, they would get 60K a year, give or take. But that's just me as an intern. I don't know the average intern engineer pay, but I do know that it's better than most, if not all other interns for any other degree. <laughs> That would be number one, that you can get an internship that pays and pays well. So number two would probably be um, little competition. There's not a lot of people who major in computer engineering or in engineering field. So you can use that to your advantage in terms of like, if you were to apply to an engineering job, um, you're more likely to get hired because there's not a lot of people for them to choose from. And if you're a female, well, there, there goes your chances. I mean, they go even higher because there's not a lot of females who apply to these jobs or even have a degree. So they don't apply and companies are looking for that diversification between males and females. So yeah, that, that's, that's the second thing. It's just, you get a much better chance of getting a job. Number three would be getting a good high paying job. Most engineers get at least 80K to 90K a year, at least. So that's just on the low end. And then it can range upwards to 150 to $200,000 a year. Um, it all just depends on what you decide to do with the career. If you decide to move up in jobs or if you decide to climb the career ladder or you just want to just do the basic work as you know the average engineering employee, um, then you can just do that and you'll still be getting paid, you know, like I said, at least 90K a year. Um, and I know that there are a lot, of, a lot of tech companies, they pay very well, about maybe 90, and then they also give out bonuses or they give out shares of their company and at a lower price too. So you could take advantage of that, invest the money, use that, or you could sell it and get, you know, stock in a different company. You can do a lot of things. So 
that would probably be the other one is getting a good high paying job. The next reason I would say you should get an engineering degree is because it gives you like a sense of confidence. Um, going through those rigorous courses, at least for me, it provide me with the ability to know that I could do it, that I could actually you know, push through these difficult problems and these professors and courses and be able to pass. And having that self-confidence allows me to pursue other things that I would not have ever done because I didn't think I'd be able to do them. Like, uh, such as this, you know, YouTube channel, I never would have thought about doing it. Like, it pushes me to go into different fields or to learn different things and to go into a different area that I've never done before. And I think that's the key thing about uh, majoring in engineering um, is because it's just so difficult. And if you can get through it, that means you can learn that difficult material and you can just work and you know you can pass. So if you can get through that, you can basically get through anything. And that's what I'm trying to get across. You get that self-confidence, you know, if that makes sense. So the next reason why I think you should major in engineering is because it provides you with the ability to think critically and to learn how to solve problems. Engineering in general, like yeah, you can go through these circuit courses or implementation courses or, you know, programming courses, but if you know what they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. So a lot of the times, like I have taken some programming courses about I think Java or C++ and I had forgotten about it when I was an intern because I hadn't used it for a couple of years. I had only taken a couple courses like sophomore year and then now I graduated and I'm a you know, first semester master's degree and I haven't really ever used um, Java. So I kind of forgot that information that I had learned. Um, but I didn't forget how to learn the information. So if that makes sense, with these four years of engineering, it teaches you how to learn and how to adapt and how to be able to think critically and not just solve the problem, but actually understand the problem. So that way you are able to find your own solution or be able to figure it out on your own because you have learned how to figure things out. <laughs> um, if that makes any sense, kind of confusing, but that's the other thing I would say that is good to major in engineering. It provides you with that critical thinking skill. So the last reason why I think you should major in engineering, and this is more for all the females out there and all the women who are thinking about it and are interested in this area, but they're kind of hesitant because it's a very male dominated field. Um, and the reason why is because being able to go into these courses and these classes with a bunch of males, um, at first it's intimidating. And yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to get over that fear or that, you know, that resistance, so to speak, because you're just not used to it. Uh, but over time, you will get used to it and you'll be able to just go into a course. You'll learn that you'll be okay. And this also gives you that sense of self-confidence that you'll be able to just go in there and you'll survive. You'll be okay. Being able to do that, just it just, it just makes it better because it's not just going to be a male-dominated field. And that's why I think it's another benefit that you should major in computer engineering, especially if you're a female. And of course, the more females there are, the more likely more females would pursue this degree because, oh, she's doing it. Well, why can't I, you know? So it's just the cycle will just go on and eventually, hopefully, engineering won't be a male dominated field anymore. So yeah, those are some of the advantages of majoring in computer engineering and some of the reasons as to why you should major in engineering. Um, but yeah, if, if I just thought I would explain that. If you guys like it and you found it useful, please like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to see anything else, please let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely make a video on it. Thanks for watching. Bye.